Hello, in this video I'm going to show you three widgets you should add to your home screen on your iPhone SE 2022. So in order to add any widget we'll need to hold our finger onto the screen like that and then press on this plus button right here. And from now we can add any widget from the list available here. So let me show you three of the most useful in my opinion. We can do it by searching for not scrolling it all the way down. So just search for a weather, press on it and you will have three options to choose from. I would recommend putting the third option because it shows you the best information and uh, it's not that big after all. So let's move it to the right side of our screen. So it's right here and you'll be able to see uh, the Celsius temperature, you'll be able to see it for entire day, how it's gonna be for Thursday, for, for Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. You can also see this icon right here, which indicates um, what's the weather outside. And all of the information is uh, here. So let, let us move to another widget. And we're doing it by the same way. The next widget would be battery. Add widget. And we can move it to the right side as well. Just by dragging it like that. And from here you'll be able to see the batteries of your other devices. That are connected or just uh, uh, wired to this phone. And you'll be seeing their battery charge. That's pretty handy if you're listening to a music by a headset or something like that. So that's the one. We can remove this widget for now and move to another. The same way. And the last widget would be the calendar. And you have about six, five options to add. And I would recommend adding the last one right here by pressing add widget. And we can move it to the side as well. Like that. Anchor it in place. And here you can see the which day of the week it is, which day of the month it is, and which month it is. So now if we press on our calendar and allow everything, we'll be able to add the notes or notifications for ourselves for a specific day of the month. So for example, right now I'm adding a 30 to the 30th of March, a new notification. I want to go on a shopping. So I'll be doing a shopping list. I will name it shop list. I can add a location or a video call. I can enable it for all day, which I'm gonna do. I can make it repeat every day if I want it to happen every day, if I want to go to shopping every day. And we can end repeat on a specific date. So for example, I want this to end in, uh, let's say, January 2023 and just press OK, go back. So now it will end on January 5th. Uh, we can go to calendar and change it to from home to work. We can invite uh, specific people or contacts to our um, event node. We can do the alert so it will ring that we can hear to do it. We can show this as a busy or free uh, like event and we can add attachments as well. In the last step here you can add URL so you can link anything here or just um, point the what exactly you're gonna shop uh, for. And in this example I'll be shopping, I'll be buying two cabbage, uh, one cabbage, sorry. Like that. After I'm done with uh, setting up everything I will press add, go back, let it refresh and we can see the shopping list for every day in the 
um, current uh, year, let's say. And that's it for this video. Hope you like it. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a like and a comment below.